Welcome to Off the Beaten Path presented by Subaru. I'm your host, Kate Pedersen. Well, snowmaking is officially the coolest topic heading into ski season, and a lot of us have opinions about it, but what we don't know is about the science that goes into it. And while I'm no Bill Nye, I'm sure we can find a way to break it down so that everyone can understand. <laughs> So our snowmaking automation system here at Blue Mountain was developed in-house, it's called Mr. Flaky. It controls about 150 guns on the property and seven to eight flood lines. As far as unique, it's very large. It's very large and robust. It has the ability to push more water than almost any other snowmaking system in North America. We hook hoses up to the guns and the air and water go through those hoses, come out at the gun head, mix together, and when it's cold enough, uh, form ice crystals and we make snow. The fan gun, stick gun conversation is uh, ongoing here at Blue Mountain. Typically, you would utilize a fan gun somewhere you don't have a lot of air to push your water uphill. So we rely on the newest technology stick gun, which is comparable to a fan gun as far as production. So perfect snowmaking conditions for here at Blue would be about minus six. So a lot of snowmaking revolves around wet bulb, which is the amount of moisture in the air. Uh, to make better snow, you want a low moisture content. And at minus six, it would probably take us about two weeks to get enough snow on the hill to open everything up. So we have to pay very close attention to weather and temperature, but also our electricity usage. We want to keep the usage number at the lowest number possible to ensure we are being green and using our system effectively and capitalizing on cold weather when we are not using electricity. With snow making and, and where we put snow on the hill, people may not realize how much snow you can be skiing on. So Silver Bullet has a lift plaza where we have the gondolas in the summer. And then when we put on the chairs in the winter, there's about a meter difference. So we have to fill in the plaza with about a meter of snow. And then if you're looking up on, uh, on Smart, you'll notice the putting course. That all gets filled in with somewhere close to two to three meters of snow in some spots, just to, to level it out across the hill. Well, it's safe to say the snowmakers at Blue Mountain are under a lot of pressure to get the entire mountain from green to white. And we rarely get a chance to see them, but it's their hard work behind the scenes that help us have the snow and the length of the ski season that we've all come to love. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Off the Beaten Path presented by Subaru. I'm your host, Kate Pedersen.